Welcome to this interview. My name is Shelly Hitz. I'm the owner of yourcreativeadventure.com. And today I wanted to bring a very special guest on to share with you a little bit about her journey with sickness and art therapy and how art really became a key part of her healing process. So Patty Pendleton, welcome to this interview. Thank you for having me. Yes, you're welcome. Now, share with us just a little bit about your story and how art became part of your life. Well, I wanted to start in some type of art before I ended up getting sick, but through your inspiration, actually. And, awesome. <laughs> um, and it was, um, it just kept on being put back on the burner, you know, life um, challenges started, other life challenges started getting in the way and I'll say, Oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Yeah. And you know, I didn't really know there was a hidden fear um, that was really deep mm. within me um, until um, I was uh, diagnosed with cancer and was put in the hospital. Wow. And so, yeah. So what would you, how would you describe that hidden fear? Cause I bet a lot of people can relate to that. You know, you, you think, well, you think of drawing and I automatically go back to when I was in school and, you know, just that, oh, I've got to draw this line perfect, or I've got to do this and, and not knowing the, the, uh, the rules, I guess, of drawing, um, you know, and you think you go through school and you're, you have to do this and you have to do it this way. And so, you know, you have that mindset of, well, I can't draw a dog or I can't draw a person. So I must not be able to have any artistic value within yourself mm -hmm. or any artistic, um, motivation, I guess you'd say. Yeah. Um, and so I had that fear. And so, mm -hmm. um, the art therapist kept on going into my hospital room and <laughs> I think it was about a month later, you know, I was, you know, after she kind of got a rapport going with me, uh, you know, she reached out with, um, I wanted to start with clay. I was okay. looking into, um, wanting to learn how to make pots and, um, and so that was her outreach to me was giving me some clay and then that, progressed into other things that she would slowly moved me into different things <laughs> to draw. Yes. Now you mentioned something that I think a lot of people can relate to. You, you said you had a, a certain idea of what art should be, right? Like, that it needed to be a certain way or a certain thing. And then if you couldn't do that, that you couldn't be an artist or couldn't create art. And I think that's such a big misconception because art is our own interpretation of, you know, what we see. And there are so many different forms of art and we're all growing and in, in a work in progress. And so, you know, thank you for sharing that. And just that you had that hesitation because you didn't know if you could do it correctly or the rules or what is there. And, and I just like to say, there's a lot of freedom. <laughs> there's a lot of freedom in art and expressing your creativity and really to encourage people to, 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 you know, take down those limitations in the boxes that we, we come into. But then you said that, um, you were in the hospital and you had cancer. So how sick were you when you were in the hospital? The, the mass was pretty large. Uh, they, honestly didn't think I was going to make it, wow. but through, through what kind of cancer? it was called, um, liver. No, I'm sorry. Um, cell and tissue cancer. Wow. And so I thought I just had a pulled muscle in my buttocks. Wow. And that was the pain I was experiencing until, um, the pain got so severe, uh, that it was swelling up my calf muscle and my foot. Wow. And so, so that, took you to the hospital and that's when they found the cancer. Correct. So you were pretty sick. You were not given a great diagnosis. They didn't no. really think that you would come out of this. Now, when you were in that place and you knew how severe this was and you knew how, like you, before we started recording, you told me like you lost a lot of weight, right? I did. I got down to 60 pounds. 
Yeah. I mean, 60 pounds, like that's crazy. Like yeah. you're in this place of desperation and then this art therapist comes in and gives you some clay and <laughs> what began to happen in your heart, you know, in this dark, dark time when you just started to create and um, do different artistic out and have different artistic outlets. Well, I didn't realize that there was the hidden, um, the fear of the unknown, not knowing, um, you know, putting the limitations on myself. And I guess I would say putting myself in that box and the limitations of not allowing myself to, like you said, there's so much freedom. And so within um, starting with the clay and just realizing there was joy, just having clay in my hand, yes, having joy. And I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on here? <laughs> you know, not realizing. <laughs> and then I started embracing um, my art therapist. I couldn't wait for her to, to come. And even though she would tell me sometimes with all the medication and just being extremely fatigued, because I was having um, treatments almost, well, I was having treatments every day. Um, and I was in the hospital for three months. Wow. And these so, were, these were chemo, like radiation and that sort of thing. Correct. So I was having chemo. Um, I had two five day spouts of chemo and then I'd have radiation for 27 days every wow. day. Wow. So it was really, it was pretty hard on my body. Yes. <laughs> and, um, especially being vegan, it was challenging for me to eat. And so I was losing wow. weight on top of that. Um, because there was just not that many alternatives. They, we would try something and I would get sick. Um, mm -hmm. I, I even introduced myself back to meat um, just so I could get that protein I needed, but yeah. it was making me sicker. And so it was a, a big challenge for me just to balance a diet and try to get healthy. But we, you know, with the help of the Lord, I was able to figure out a plan to eat correctly and um, the motivation of the art really helped me grow too. And to shed all those, um, those old mindsets of holding myself back, because that's what I was doing basically, was holding myself back and I wasn't able to have that freedom of expressing myself or knowing that that was even within me. Do you feel like there's a lot of parallels between your art journey and maybe your emotional and spiritual journey that you were having during that time? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, every picture that I was painting, um, God was speaking through me and I was able to shed, shed things, um, wow. in my mindset. And, um, every time that something was said to me, um, that was negative that I knew that wasn't in, in God's plan for my life or something that I needed just reassurance or that confidence the paintings were all plastered in my hospital room. I could just look at the love of God, not realizing, you know, wow, you know, how, how much of an impact art has upon, upon us. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, um, you know, it, it's interesting because it's the right brain activity, but so is, I, I, I really believe like hearing God's voice and, you know, praying and, praising and worship because, you know, music is that right brain. And so I think a lot of times when we transition from that left brain, that fear, the logic, the how, you know, how's this going to work out? I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> the perfectionism, the inner critic, and we start to move to that right side of the brain. And, you know, I, I really just sit here, hear you saying you were just transitioning, you know, into that with the, um, the art and then mm -hmm. being able to really process some of the deep emotions and, you know, really connect with God in a fresh way. And, you know, do you, do you, are you still creating art? Are you still doing this on a regular basis now? I am. I'm actually taking your classes. Yay! <laughs> I'm taking your first lettering classes, which I love doing that. And yes. I'm exploring other avenues as um, my art therapist had introduced me to different uh, types of art. I'm doing that also um, out of the hospital. So I'm I'm still doing the art that the Lord had guided me to in the hospital. But yet I'm ex I'm branching out. I'm not allowing myself to be stuck in that box. I want to be free. And mm -hmm. that was one thing that um, my art therapist said to me. She's like, 
do you want to try something new? Because she was always hesitant when she would ask me that. And I said, you know what? I want to. I'm not going to hold myself back. And it, and it made me realize, you know, how many other things in my life have I held myself back because I wouldn't allow myself to step and try something new. Yeah. Um, I often realizing that, you know? Yeah. I often say, you know, giving ourselves the freedom to be a beginner in something, you know, especially as adults, you know, when we're coming into a new thing like art, I had to mm -hmm. allow myself the freedom to be a beginner again and to make some ugly art or, you know, just some, <laughs> some, you know, just creative expressions that may not be, masterpieces in other people's minds, but it just brought me so much joy. And it, right. I was just able to enjoy the process. And it was such a form of self care for me that I hadn't experienced for years, because I tend to be I say I'm a redeemed workaholic. And, you know, just didn't take the time to do things that filled my soul because it wasn't productive. But it is productive to do art because it fills us in a way and it brings us alive in ways mm -hmm. that other things will not. Now, after you were in the hospital for three months, like, what is your prognosis now? How are, how are things going for you? You're home now, right? Yeah, I've been home from the hospital for two months, and um, good news is the cancer is gone. Awesome. Yes, and so I'm learning how to walk again because it did put pressure onto uh, uh, the sciatic nerve, mm. and so I'm learning how to walk again. Wow. And so, um it's, it's a challenge, but I'm getting stronger every day and I'm still, um, being productive in the art and it's really a still therapy for me. I really enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. And I, I don't think every hospital has an art therapist, so that's kind of unique that you had that opportunity. Yeah. And, I um, really enjoyed it. I didn't, I didn't anticipate it either. It was, you know, she came in with her cart and I just looked at her like, well, what are you here for? <laughs> yeah. What are we doing this for? Right, right. So in your own words and from your own experience, how would you describe or define art therapy? Um, I encourage everybody to do art. Um, and the reason for that is that you don't realize that you need it. It's mm. so, it reaches so deep within your own self that you don't realize and it brings things up in you that it gives you more, I would say a push or endurance to have faith in yourself and to, to love yourself and to believe in yourself that you can do anything, of course, through Christ, you, we've got to make that first step, you know, we've got to, we've got to allow him to be, um, the hands and, um, it's a letting go, I think of mm -hmm. our, our old selves. And, you know, um, it was, there was a lot of other things that were going on in my life before I got sick. And so I was transitioning into that, that new, um, place in my life thinking that, well, yeah, I'm in a new place now, you know, what, what else can I shed? You know, cause I had, I had just moved and I got rid of so many boxes. I had a hundred boxes. I got rid of 70. Wow. <laughs> so, and when I got back to the apartment, I'm like, you know what? I need to get rid of some more. Um, wow. Like I didn't realize there was so much that I shed while I was in the hospital too. It's such, um, a uh, breath of fresh air to be able to express myself. And I didn't even look at it as expression of myself. I looked at it more of, it was therapy. It is therapy. Every time I paint or I draw or I do something, it's, you're learning a little bit more about yourself in, in a deeper aspect. Every time you uh, take a paintbrush or you work with paint or any type of art that you do, um, it just brings you to life a little bit more, I think. Yeah. I always say that, you know, lettering in particular, that's, you know, and watercolor, those are my two mediums that I currently do, but lettering really taught me to slow down because I can be a go, go, go type A type person. And lettering is like, okay, you need to go slow, yeah. <laughs> enjoy the process. Like it's like illustration versus, you know, 
you know, handwriting. And then watercolor, I really feel like it taught me a lot about letting go of control because you cannot control watercolor. Like it will do what it wants. And so, <laughs> you know, I think there's lessons that we learn from art as we're going through it. And like right. you said, there's a shedding and a letting go that even just happens as we're giving ourselves the space to create and to enjoy it. Like it doesn't even have to have an outcome. I saw a meme on Facebook, I think the other day, a couple days ago, an artist friend posted it and they said, you know, was, there was a, you know, it's like a little cartoon and someone was saying um, to someone creating art, like, how much are you going to sell that for? He's like, oh, I'm not going to sell it. Well, then how do you know it's, it's worth anything? And it went through this whole dialogue. And at the end, oh, like, wow. it's worth a lot to me because I created it and I enjoy it. Like, that's all that sometimes it, it needs to be is just to enjoy the process. And it doesn't even have to have any other outcome, but just to enjoy the experience and allow it to do what you know, what God wants to do in our lives. And so what would you say to people who want to use art as therapy? They know they have some stuff like that, that they're going through and yet they're just kind of not sure how to even get started or what to do. Like, were there certain things that the, um, the therapist, like steps that they took you through or, or did you just kind of just create, like, what would you, what would you recommend? I, um, I wanted to start with clay and when she knew that's where I wanted to, that I had something that I wanted to learn. Um, she started with that point. Um, so I would look deep within yourself and say, Hey, is there something in the art field that I wanted to try and never tried and just step out and do it. Mm -hmm. um, now the first thing that I did start out with after the clay was um, watercolor pencils. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So that was one, one medium that we tried and then we went to acrylic paints. So I would just get some watercolor and just have at it, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's not, there's no, there's no right or wrong. And that was one thing was I've always, and that was one thing God showed me was, um, you know, God has no boundaries. There's no boundaries to art. There's no a right or a wrong. And in my mind, I was putting that there was, I would always be wrong because I was setting myself up for a fall, basically. Right. And we tend to do that when we're not sure of things, you know, our human nature wants to, you know, push, we'll just push ourselves aside and say, oh, well, you can't do it because you're going to be wrong or you're not going to do it right or who are you to think that, you know, you can do something right, you know, when you're just beginning something, we all start at the same place. And yeah, I was reading something the other day um, on Instagram, I think of, of some, someone was lettering, they, and they said, those that you admire started at the same place you did. Yes. And it's oh like, my goodness. oh yeah, you, you kind of forget that, you know, yes. I always tell people scroll back to the beginning of my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see where I started and it looks nothing like what I'm doing today. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just take that leap of faith and just start, even if it's doodling with a pen, just, just start somewhere. And it's not going to be right. It's not going to be wrong. It's, it's something that you've created that that's within you that we've all have creative um, abilities within us. We just got to allow ourselves to do it. Yeah, I think that's good. And I think it's good to start with something that motivates you or that something, yeah. like you said, that you really want to do and, you know, start there and, and just keep exploring and, and see what really sticks. So one of my mentors said, so, you know, sometimes you just throw spaghetti against the wall. And so like, and you see what sticks, you know? Mm -hmm. And so sometimes with art, you just try a bunch of things and see what really makes you come alive. For me, it was lettering and watercolor. And so, you know, we, we all, and it may be something different in the future, but you know, find what really brings you joy and mm -hmm. what, and, and in the beginning, there is going to be some learning curve, you know, it's not always going to be enjoyable every minute because you're learning things. And, but for the most part, you know, it should be enjoyable. My husband always says, Shelly, if it's not fun, something's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your art is supposed to be fun. And so I love that. Do you happen to have any of your 
artwork close by? I do. Um, do you want to see the first one I did? Yeah, that would be awesome. The watercolor pencils? Yes. Back here. So this is the first one. Can you see that? Yeah. Back up a little bit. Raise it up just a little bit. See if we can see. Right. There we go. Wow, yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah. That's the first one. And she just put it on some scrap paper for me. Oh, neat. I so, love that. Yeah, I didn't name that, but you know, and, and I still was struggling with this one because I was like, it had to be a certain way. Oh, wow. And so as I was drawing and she's like, you know, you can stop at any time. It doesn't have to be perfect. And she, she was helping me mm -hmm. shed that thought pattern and it took a while for me. Mm -hmm. Um, and so the second one I did was this one called happiness. Oh, beautiful. So I love just, that. You know, paper cut up, you know, and I just slapped it on there. Yeah. And That's so, like um, mixed media, right? Yeah. And so when I started realizing that, oh, you know, the pieces of paper don't have to be perfect. And, yeah. and it looks so, you know, when I was putting it on there and she's like, you can overlap the paper. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you can? And so, yeah. you know, I, I was still shedding that mindset. And then the last one, uh, when I did in the hospital, uh, I just loved how God just, mm. you know, he picked out the painting and the colors and just, it doesn't have a rhyme or reason to it. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't, art doesn't have to have a rhyme or reason to it. Yeah. Did you name that one? I did. This one's called Never Ending Story. And it oh, was, I, I didn't realize that. that I was going out of the hospital um, into a rehab hospital, but I would stop my um, oh. therapy, my art therapy during that week. And so wow. I was getting better um, and getting my strength back. And so the Lord was showing me, I am the never ending story. We are all never ending mm. stories. And so, yeah. you know, there's so much within us that we could share with other people that, you know, that your story matters and it doesn't, we're not, it's, it's a journey. Yeah. I love that. And I love the story and that's so important. I think with our art to also like not be afraid to share the story. And if you're not titling or naming your art pieces, go for it. Like, that's so fun, you know? Yeah, it <laughs> is. Like, there was one that I, I did yesterday. I'm trying a new medium. Oh, good. And, um, I wasn't sure at first, and it took me a while, and I really looked at it, and I'm like, oh, this is amazing. And so um, I didn't name it yet. And then I looked at it today, and I was like, hmm, what should I name it? And I think it's going to be named um, shedding. Mm. So you know, getting rid of getting yeah. rid of you know our that type of thinking because it it really clouded my thinking when I was in the hospital. You know, everything has mm -hmm. to be a certain way, and and timing was a big thing for me. You know, even though I was in the hospital, I still had to get down to radiation at a certain time, and. And so I would get myself all worked up and, and really sick. Wow. Um, and you were already up. sick. <laughs> yeah, I was sick, but I was making myself sicker. Yeah. And so I was really delivered from that and just, wow. you know, putting boundaries on myself and put boundaries on God. And, you know, I don't think we realize how healing art is until we actually get our feet deep within it. Yeah. So I encourage people, you know, take that leap of faith and it doesn't matter what, what type of medium you try, just, just get in there and try it. Yeah. And you know, it's part of the fun is just, you know, it's doing it. And like you said, I never knew, like, I didn't even think I was creative like two years ago. Like, I mean, I knew I was a writer and publisher and all of that, but I just, I didn't know that I had that artistic ability in me until I started to do it. Right. And so I think, I think that's just so key is just to give ourselves the freedom to create and to be beginners. And it doesn't yeah. have to be for an outcome. It doesn't have to be for, like you said, you know, that last painting, the never ending story, you know, it's just, it was, it was just an expression, 
you know, of what God was doing in and through you. And it's such a great reminder. So when you see your artwork now and you see those pieces that you created during that time, does it evoke emotion with you within you? Does it encourage you? Is it something that is a great reminder to you now? It is. It makes me cry every time I see them because it just yeah. reminds me at the time, um, in those three months where I was at and what I was feeling and what God was doing in my life and how thankful I am. Mm -hmm. Um, and the, the, um, what I've learned about myself within yeah. those, those paintings. Cause each, each one of these paintings are, are not only, um, um, paintings or, or masterpieces I call them cause every, yes. Every, every one of our paintings or anything we do in art is a masterpiece in our own minds. It doesn't matter what other people think about them, you know? And it was funny cause I'd have some people come in and they'd go, Oh, your kids drew those. And I, I would look at them and I just oh. I'm like, no, they're mine. <laughs> and I was like, you know, Hey, that's okay. That's okay. If yeah. They that. But once they start asking questions and wanted to know the story behind it, it, it it, it opened them up and opened their hearts to, to what can be seen in the, in the painting. And so that actually invoked emotions to them, which helped them also. So I was like, you know what, God, you're amazing. You know, it doesn't matter how, um, how it looks or perceives to another, there is a story within it. And if we search deep within, um, within whatever art that we do, we'll find, we'll find it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it's your, your story is just incredible. I've known Patty for a long time. I'm also an author coach and I have a program author audience Academy. She's been part of that program has published some books and I'm sure you have more books in you yeah. <laughs> as well as more art. Um, if someone wants to connect with you, where can they find you? Uh, www.pattypendleton.com and it's p-a-t-t-i yes. p-e-n-d-l-e-t-o-n right Correct. yes okay. <laughs> <laughs> pattypendleton.com and definitely connect with her even check out you know some of her books and what she's doing but you're just you're a walking miracle aren't you patty yes yes I would have to say that. Because you are walking now. <laughs> I am walking now. I am walking without a walker a few days. And so, yeah, I'm yeah. getting stronger and God is good, you know, and we all, we all are walking miracles, you know, we just mm -hmm. have to allow ourselves to see that. Yeah. Any final encouragement for those that are watching or listening? Well, if you don't know where to start, I really suggest you go on to yourcreativeadventure.com because Shelly's Shelley's, um, packaged her classes so nice and neat and so full of information. I, I do really love your classes. And even though I've been in all your other classes, you're, yeah. she is such a great teacher. And, you know, it's there's so many different types of um, – what do you call them? Different uh, media, art medias that you have out there that people can try a little bit of everything. And so, you know, just take that leap of faith and just try some some of our free classes. And you know, and there's so much out there that you can find something that you know. If you don't like one thing, you can try another until you find that happy medium for you. So, yeah. Yeah, I love that. And, you know, I didn't, I didn't, you know, pay Patty to say that. No, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't. But um, when I first got into art, it was actually from my nieces. I wanted them to paint something that I could hang in my house. They had done some acrylic paintings before and my sister had them hanging in her house. And so they, when I was there for vacation, they, they got the paints and the canvas and I paid for all that. So then they painted it and I'm like, Oh, like, I think I could maybe do that, you know, and I came home and I bought a bunch of supplies. I just went to Walmart at the time and got some acrylic paints, some canvases and, 
And I just dove in and I started with acrylics, but then like you said, you know, just keep trying different things. And that's where, you know, I tried watercolor and then I was hooked. But for you, it might be something different. It might be, you know, there's so many mediums, there's pastels, there's, you know, there's mixed media, there's the pottery there. I mean, there's so much. Um, one of my art mentors, Matt Tommy, he makes, you know, he's a basket sculpture. He does basket sculptures. So like, you know, literally like basket weaving, <laughs> but you know, there's so many kinds of art. Some people express their creativity even through ways like cooking or writing or music. I mean, it doesn't always even have to be visual art to be creative, but just to take that step and allow yourself the freedom to create. So thank you so much for being here and sharing your inspiring story today, Patty. Thank you for having me, Shelly. And I just hope that each one of you watching is inspired now to go and create, to, um, to allow your, your creative outlet to come out in whatever way that is, and just to have the freedom to do it in the way that you are created to do it. So thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.